Where do superheroes go when they've seen too much? When they've done too much? Well, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman have created a safe haven. A place where they can go and reveal their deepest, darkest secrets and get therapy. It's known as Sanctuary. And today, something went wrong at Sanctuary. This is the Complete Story series, where we take trade paperbacks and single issues, and we break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. We then read them dramatically back to you, an audio book per se, with music and voices. I hope you guys enjoy Heroes in Crisis, number one, the current big event at DC. Gordon, Nebraska. Booster Girl thanks the diner waitress as she refills his cup of coffee. One of the other customers pauses with his cup inches from his mouth. His eyes staring out the window. Uh, Shirley, there's another hero coming. He stammers as Harley Quinn peers through that window. The bell over the door jingles as Booster remarks. That's not a hero, that's a villain. The only thing that Shirley wants to know is, is there going to be a fight? And Booster nods. Yeah, there's going to be a fight. Meanwhile, from before, the cameras roll as Harley Quinn starts her confession. The truth is that Harley doesn't believe in trauma. Everyone believes it's a thing that's real, but after all those years of hearing and listening to it from her patients, what she really should have been doing is beating them with a sledgehammer. She laughs, but the laughter doesn't stop and she starts to cry. Meanwhile, back at the diner, Harley is trying to decide what to eat while Booster is finishing his coffee. She finally decides on some peach pie and coffee, and Shirley heads off to get it. As Harley drinks her coffee, she turns to Booster. Can I tell you a secret, Goldie? You promise not to tell? Booster promises. I hate pudding. With those words, Shirley brings over the peach pie, and Harley takes a bite. It's delicious. Elsewhere in Nebraska, Superman has arrived with the sound of an echoing boom displaying his speed. All right, I'm here. He speaks over the calm as he circles over the lonely farmhouse in the middle of a cornfield. A flock of ravens take flight as he approaches. Meanwhile, from before, the cameras roll as Blue Jay starts his confession. I'm Blue Jay and I shrink. He controls it really well, until recently that is. He can't control it, he can't go to sleep at night. He'll go to sleep at night just to wake up small, drowning in his sheets. He knows it comes from his memory of Silver Sorceress and that arrow. He knows that's where it comes from, but he can't stop and he doesn't want to drown. Meanwhile, back in the diner, Harley finishes her pie and she begins a quote. She conjured the most evil demon and she came through very scathed. Pulling out her butter knife, she stabs Booster in the ribs, throwing him off his bar stool as she begins to sing. He hits the ground as she stabs him again, but he manages to get his forearm between the knife and his stomach, probably saving his life. She brings the knife up again, preparing for another thrust, but Booster uses an energy blast, blowing out the windows in the diner. She struggles to her feet, warning that she's going to hurt Booster as she uses his blood like camo paint. I'm 13 minutes out, don't touch anything. Batman responds to Superman's radio check-in. Bruce, he knows. Wonder Woman chimes in as she flies as quickly as possible to their location. Superman stumbles over his words, barely mumbling a response as he looks over the carnage before him. The bodies of several heroes, their friends, laid out in the cornfield, dried blood covering their wounds. Before, the camera rolls as Hotspot starts his confession. He has a catchphrase. I'm just warming up. He hopes it's good. He uses it a lot. He uses it when he gets in a fight, when he gets scared. It helps to have something to say. Even if you go out, people will remember you. And at a current day, Superman stands over the body of Hotspot, confirming his death as Batman and Wonder Woman arrive. As a thing that he would say, wasn't there? I can't remember. Superman asks as he kneels before his fallen comrade. But elsewhere, Booster fires an energy blast at Harley as she charges at him. She's quick, she's nimble, dodging out of the way as she draws ever closer with her knife. A knee to the face knocks Booster back, but he recovers, throwing her to the ground, holding her by the throat. Haven't you done enough? Harley's simple response is, no, fine. He decides that he has taken her to the Hall of Justice, and with that, they leap into the sky. Superman has arrived at Sanctuary. Dried blood stains the walls of the simple house. He floats forward. There's no sign of the greeter. I'm going in. The door swings open, and the bodies of Wally West and Ray Harper, they just lay there, just laid out inside. Arsenal and Flash are confirmed. Before, the cameras roll as Arsenal starts his confession. <laughs> I'm Arsenal, and a superhero, and an addict. So, two things. 
Roy started shooting up for his health. He doesn't have power, so he would get hurt a lot. Because of the pain, the doctors gave him pills. Lots of pills. So many pills that he was killing his kidneys. He switched to needles to save his kidneys. Isn't that what superheroes do? Save things? Booster and Harley begin to fly higher and higher, but she is squirming free, knife at his throat. Do it and we'll both fall. He struggles, yet Harley knows, rearing back, stabbing the knife into his ribs. Booster, he wasn't lying, and they both begin to tumble out of the sky. Back at Sanctuary, Superman averts his eyes from the carnage around him. Batman and Wonder Woman close by. The wall behind the bodies of the greeter is marred by graffiti that states, the puddlers are all dead. Wonder Woman explains that the puddlers are someone who removes the impurities so that the iron can be strong. They survey the scene, and Batman knows that their chance of helping their friends has become another hunt for vengeance. Elsewhere, Harley and Booster have crashed. Booster doesn't understand. How could she do that to all those people who were just trying to get help? And Harley looks at him. She didn't kill them. He did. Before. The camera starts to roll as Booster puts on his best superhero voice. I'm Booster Gold. I'm the greatest hero you've never heard of. And I'm in Sanctuary, the super reality therapist built by Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, designed to help superheroes who are messed up from fighting too much, from seeing too much. Like Booster Gold. Okay, I'm here. I'm talking. Help me. With the conclusion of Heroes in Crisis number one, I can tell you that we will be bringing you the tie-ins and all of the stuff related to Heroes in Crisis over the next upcoming weeks. Hopefully timing this so that we complete Heroes in Crisis a couple weeks after the final book comes out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you up to date as to what is coming down the pipeline for this book.